All right, so now it comes to me. Uh, so s I have to premise that Steven did uh, have first pick at the yeah, songs no. because Someone was I was taking dragging too my feet. Long. I, I, I was like, oh, I like this song, and I was playing it, and then I just kind of kind of got distracted. Usually Steven is the distracted one, and I'm not, but I don't know. That's today. a lie. What, you say you don't have ADD? Look me in the eye and say you don't have ADD. I can't look you in the eye. But... <laughs> so, uh, I just want to premise, uh, some of these songs I do really like, and some of these songs I put on this list, mainly just because I feel we have a lot to talk about it, or we, I feel like we should talk about it. Sure. So our first song is by a collaboration group called Mola. It has 15 ants, Park Jimin. Uh, unique Sun Yun, Sun Yun, I think. And uh, this guy called Nathan, we don't know who he is. Uh, their song is called My Way. This song, Steven, um, is amazing. Uh, amazing. Amazing in the sense that it's really good. Yep. And amazing in the sense that it doesn't sound like anything in Korean music right now. Yep. Or at least mainstream Korean music, I should say. Like, I think it's totally crazy that of all the people, it's 15 ands, Park Ji Min, and unique, unique, and a dude named Nathan that I probably should know, but I don't, yeah. uh, make a song that sounds way more American, American pop than anybody else. else I've ever yeah. heard in Korean music. Yeah. So, uh, oh, it, this song, uh, I'm not sure if there's a music video there's for no it. There's no music video. Uh, I don't think it's the song's even on YouTube, which is... The means that we use to watch the videos. Yeah, we, we, we did it on SoundCloud. Yeah. It might be on YouTube somewhere. Yeah. But. I mean, you'll probably find someone who posted it up, but there's no official, I think, video for it. Um, but Park Jimin's voice, there's something they did with the filtering or the, the way she's singing. It sounds amazingly similar to Rihanna's style of singing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Rihanna, as much as I don't really like her, she puts out very catchy songs, Rihanna. Right. Bitch, better have my money. Bitch, better have my money. It's fucking like blah blah blah. Fucking awful. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, and and Unique's uh uh, uh Sung Yun, Su Sung Yun, yeah, and Nathan. Like, wait, does Nathan rap at all, or is it just? I know Sung he produced it. He produced I, I want to say he raps in it because two two people do two rap, voices. Right? Yeah, two voices seem um, different, and they're they're pretty. I mean, they're pretty good. They're pretty good rapper. Yeah. Like, it, it's so crazy because. Like, I, I think some of their rapping was much better than sh a lot of the Show Me the Money people. Oh, yeah. Like, the way that they're projecting and the way that they're, their rapping style and, yeah. and, and their flow, I was like, holy fucking shit. Yeah. Like, why were these guys not on that shit? I, 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 I want to say I felt a lot of character from their rapping. Mm. Like, some rappers, they'll rap and you won't know who the hell they are. Like, you, yeah. you'll hear them and it'll be like, oh, I don't think I've ever heard this guy before. And he'll be like someone that you know, right? And that's a big problem with Korean rap nowadays mm -hmm. is that since rap is getting bigger, a lot of more people are rapping, but they are not rapper. They are not quote unquote born rappers, right? Yeah. They don't have, they don't have their own style, style to yeah. it, you know? They're just emulating whatever's popular. And that happens in America too, right? Yeah, of course. Um, but, you know, it's especially apparent. Uh, I don't know if you watched the, because uh, on the... The finals for Show Me the Money, yeah. they all the uh, Unpretty Rap Star Two Girls came out oh, really? and did a rap, and like all like I don't know ten or twelve or sixteen of them, mm -hmm. and like ninety percent of the girls rapped in the exact, exact same, same way, way. Mm -hmm. just with a squeakier voice or with a lower voice or mm -hmm. with a this voice or with a this voice, yeah. and like I was like. Why even get 16 competitors if they all just sound the fucking same? Now, this is one song that they all had to collaborate on, so mm -hmm. like, you know, they had only a tiny bar, so maybe yeah, they can't maybe, do that much. Yeah, maybe. Um, but it was just like, I was like, what's different about any of Like, I, I heard a lot of people, again, writing comments like, oh man, this girl sounded great, and this girl sounded great, this girl sounded great. And I'm just like, they all just fucking sounded the same. Yeah, like, it's the same, like, if you, like... It's really hard to kind of comparison, but when I first heard Girls' Generation, I couldn't tell the voices apart sure. from each other. And it's kind of the same way with I'm Pretty Rap Stars, like, that rapping, I guess, is what you're saying. Is I that guess, but if you listen to it, you're just like, I can't say this is this person. I, I really can't point out who this person is. But in I'm Pretty Rap Star 1, I could. Like, I, yeah. I Kisum sounds very different than Jimin, yeah. sounds yeah, very yeah. different than Jesse, sounds yeah. very different than Cheetah, like... 
I felt all of them had their styles. You might not like the style, right? Like yeah, Jimin, yeah. a lot of people don't agree with her rapping style because it's very high pitched. Mm. But at least if you hear it, you're like, oh, this is that, <laughs> that, that bitch person. is Jimin. You know, that girl's Jimin. Um, no, yeah, I agree. So, I mean, I'm despite my hatred for the way Show Me the Money 4 kind of was going, like, I'm, of course I'm going to watch him pretty rap star too. Yeah. Um, but, uh, anyways, we'll talk more about that in the after show. Yeah. That, that's definitely on but the thing. What it comes down to, unique, Seungyeon, Sung yep. Nathan, great job uh, on this track. Very good song. It's, ve it's very, very good. The more you listen to it, the better it gets. I gave this song to Josh because yeah, he true. needed it. It was going to be true. in my section. But you had a whole bunch of songs. Oh, it's, not my fault. it's not my fault. You're, you're slow. Great song. Great song. Really great song. Yeah, nice. Let's move on. Better than every Show Me The Money 4 song by far. It is. It really is. You're right. It is, right? Um, but our next song is also a rap song. You know me. I like the rippity raps, you know. Wearing my, wearing my jerseys and my hats. I'm not wearing a hat today, though. My head feels naked. My head feels so naked, Steve. You're... I don't know. <laughs> but... Your face looks naked. It's supposed to be naked. Okay. All right. Well, our next song is by Simon D. Uh, half leader of Supreme Team, right? Sure. With Simon Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, you, you would think it'd be Simon Demonic, right? I thought it was Dominic. Or Dominic. Yeah. Right? But the Demonic. way he's, the way he says it in the chorus, the hook, is Simon. Simon Dominic. You no, know, it's not Simon, it's Simon. <laughs> You're right. Simon, Simon, Dominic. Simon, on. <laughs> and like, it, normally it's just kind of a quick joke, but he says it a lot in the song. It's, it's the hook. It's the name of the song, it's but, Simon but Dominic. Hear, but hear me out for like one second. Simon. Like, it's so fucking catchy. Simon, <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> I I didn't think it was catchy at all. I mean, you're you're on your own on this one. No, not not what he's not what he's saying that part. But I know what he's the song like, in general. Simon D O M I N C O O. That part was really really catchy. Um, usually I don't like when rappers like say their own name in the rap song. It's like all right, cool. It's like you can't rap if you have to say your own name in the song, you know. Especially naming the song yeah, after yourself. Yeah. And that's kind of the impression I had when I first looked at this. I was like. So this is a song by Simon D, and he called it Simon Demont or Dominic. Do God damn, I can't even say it the Dominic. way I want to say it anymore. Dominic. <laughs> Simon Dominic. Um, so I was like, what the hell? I'll, I'll, I'll listen to this. Then I heard this song on the street, and it was just so good on speakers. Mm. It was so like well produced. I really like his rapping style, even though I do, I do feel it's a little bit generic. Mm. Um, Supreme Team, they, they've had a few songs that I did like but on a whole I'm not really a big fan of Supreme Team um, and so I thought I was just gonna graze over this song mm. but I was very wrong the song is very catchy but I feel it's very kind of catchy in a kind of poppy way um, yeah maybe I need to listen again but like the two times that I've heard it not a big fan not a fan mm, not a that's fan. fine but yeah this song go go give it a listen to if you haven't heard it yet um, you might be surprised. I just want to mention it because a lot of people don't really know about Simon D or Supreme Team. Uh, True. Because Supreme Team is an older group. Yeah. And I think Simon D, I think he, isn't he a part of AOM and AOMG? Maybe now? Maybe now? Um. Because Jay Park is on his other song, and I think the other song was produced by Greg, maybe. Yeah, but I, I just want to say AOMG, they put out some beats, I. Uh, Live. Mom, 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 hey, mom, 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 mom. Yeah, I'm that's all fucking great. blew the fuck up in Korea, man. Yeah, dude, fucking great, man. Yeah, just put in, put in work on the tracks. Anyways, uh, what well, you know? Who's putting work on our tracks? Uh, that's <laughs> gonna be Audible. Uh, so for being our chingus, Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to our awesome listeners. You guys, free, free. Free, free. If you have some free time, chores to do, or a long commute, give listening to audiobooks a chance. By clicking on the link and signing up for free trial, you are directly supporting us. Free trial. And that free trial can be found at audibletrial.com slash TWIK. You can get any audiobook from over 180,000 titles for... For what? Free. Free. Uh, again, go to audibletrial.com slash cwik and yep. you will directly support us 
Yeah. Um, you know, I invested uh, quite a bit of money into yeah. this podcast with the help of you guys, yeah. um, with the help of Drama Fever, and with the help of the people that signed up so far yeah. for uh, Audible. Um, but uh, I may have over, <laughs> I may have been over enthusiastic uh, with how much money I spent. I, I so. think I think a little bit, but we're, we're we're trying to up the production value of this show in general. And we're um, going to use this camera, hopefully, for a lot more things. So. Yeah, that, that's our plan for now, but uh, stay tuned for that. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah. uh, moving on. So, our next song, or my next song, I should say, is B1A4 with Sweet Girl. Sweet Girl! Oh, wait, no. That's, that's not, Dream Girl. No, that's not the right song. You even really like that song. Dream that, Girl! That. Isn't that how the song goes? What? Chinese, Chinese girl? girl? Yeah. That's okay. How, that's how. I mean, I knew that wasn't being But you didn't really even like that song. I didn't, I but I remember that. Oh, well, fair enough. Because I don't remember this song at all. <laughs> uh, B1A4 is back with a song that really doesn't sound like B1A4. But the reason why I like it so much is because I've always liked uh, the singers in B1A4. Mm. I think they did a very good job singing. And this song came out a little while ago. I think before, even before we left Korea, um, it might have came out, or maybe a week after we left Korea. But this song has been out for a while. Mm. It, I think, won on a music show. I'm not hundred percent sure, but it is really definitely worth a listen. I think it only has like half a million views on YouTube, which is ridiculous. Yeah. At least on their official channel. It might have been yeah. released first on a different channel. I don't know. Uh -huh. But, but um, that is very surprising because I thought the song would be very, very popular. But it is not. If you are like Steven and you kind of like the more quirky B1A4, this song might not be for you. But if you really liked Lonely, I actually really, really like, like Lonely. I, I like Lonely, but yeah. it also had the added benefit of repeating the title a billion true. times, That's so like it, it was a lot more catchy. Uh, if you like, if you like B1A4 also for their Lonely type songs, uh, this song I think falls into Lonely category rather than a What's Happening mm. category. So mm -hmm. just. Keep in mind for that. Might not be your cup of tea, but you should give it a listen to anyways. Yeah, I don't think I hate it as much as maybe that intro uh, 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 sounded. Like, yeah. uh, I mean, I I didn't really like it when I listened to it by myself, but yeah. then when you were listening to it again, I was kind of like, okay, I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Um, I would have never, I, I mean, I think Bar uh, Barrow's rap was a little out yeah, of place. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, I think I, I feel the same way. Barrow, uh, his, his voice is like very baritone. Mm -hmm. It's like very deep kind of voice. And this song is supposed to be kind of very melodic and sweet. And when you sometimes when the contrast is really nice and it sits, fits together. But Baro was trying to rap in this kind of like, hey baby, mm. kind of way. And I was really not, not, not a big it. fan of it. I wasn't feeling it. It would be a lot better without Baro rapping in it. Sorry, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just, I mean, yeah, like, I just prefer and I like, you know, I thought the music video was just so generic and so boring. Mm -hmm. Like, I liked quirky, weird B1A4. Um, I do I do have to say the music video is pretty generic. It's kind of just them singing and like They're not even the dancing face. again. Yeah, they're not it's even like dancing. Solo Day. They didn't, didn't really even dance. Yeah. Lonely. They kind of danced in Lonely. Solo Day? Yeah, Solo Day. Lonely? What is it solo, called? Solo, Solo. Yeah. But they didn't really dance in the music video. It was like that weird summer mm -hmm. vacation uh, video. Um, Alien Attack one, right? Yes. I want to say yes. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, that's how little, at, like, I had just discovered B1A4 What's Happening, and I was, like, so hyped. Mm -hmm. And then everything after that has kind of been, like, a little, like, not like that. So they used to be, like, sad. quirky and wear these funny clothes. Yeah, and, like, like that outfits. Western, yeah, that yeah. Western one. And they, it would be very, like, their dance. It's focused on their dance. Yeah, and it, they, it's just not like that anymore. So it's kind of sad. Dancing in the moonlight. Um, so I want that B1A4 back, you know? Like, I don't... I didn't really want right, this Steven. sweet girl. All right, all right. I want her back. All right, all right. I want her back. All right, Steven. All right. Um, <laughs> but uh, the last song of my section is by a huge group, uh, continuing with their Made series. It's Big Bang with Let's Not Fall In. 
We were so close to uh, not mentioning mm-hmm. Big Bang. Um, <laughs> if you can't see, because you're in the audio version, Josh is falling asleep <laughs> while singing it. Um, because I think this song specifically is, for me, one just a boring hunk of song. Like, see, the thing is, it's so boring. I see. I think you and I, Stephen, we are such a kind of minority in K-pop. I feel like you mean we dislike things. <laughs> yeah, we dislike. For one, we dislike things, and people dislike us. True. But true, true. This song was so popular, popular yeah. when it came out. It was so incredibly popular. But I kind of. Attribute this song to like rice. Yeah, it's plain um, Korean people eat it up <laughs> um, And it's just doesn't really have a lot of nutrients doesn't really have a lot of things going for it No, yeah. it's it's just rice right now. Sometimes you could really you really really do want rice. Yeah, but it's just really bland it's a really yeah. bland song um, the their other song Zutter was much more interesting, mm-hmm. but that song also wasn't fantastic. Baby, yeah, I just want the reason why I even wanted to talk about Big Bang in general is because these last two songs that they released, released "Let's Not Fall in Love" and "Zutter," I think are the worst in the series by far. Maybe. I don't think I dislike Zutter as much as you do. Like, do you do you I like think... it more than Bang Bang Bang? No. Yeah, but I like. I think I maybe would prefer it. I guess in what setting, right? Like if we were in a in a bar, I'd prefer this over we like to party, you know, and mm. you know, Zutter over mm. uh, uh Okay, I can't remember. Sober. Sober, yeah, over mm-hmm. sober. But of course those are different types of songs, right? Yeah. Um I I agree it's one of the weakest songs, mm-hmm. I, I think. Um But but I, I, I think if I heard Zutter a, a bunch more times and like other people are, mm. you know, singing along with it, like it could definitely it be mm. very, very, very catchy. Yeah. I, uh, originally, I was going to maybe talk about Zutter mm. in my section, but I felt that I just didn't like it as much in comparison to, to the songs you talked about. Uh, in comparison, not not just the songs I talked about, but in their in other the whole songs. scheme of things, their yeah. other songs. Um, yeah, I think these last four sets of songs have been much worse in terms of quality compared to the first four they yeah. released. I mean, it, which makes sense. Like, we... we I, I think if you go all the way back before the Made series started, we were like, they're going to release eight songs? Like, yeah. like a bunch of them are going to be B-side, it's like, style meh, meh songs, really right? Great, yeah. And instead of... I mean, it makes sense to, to blow it out of the gate, right? Mm-hmm. First. But, like... I feel like they probably should have done one hit, one B-side. One hit, one B-side, one hit, one B-side. But they kind of front stacked it so hard. Yeah, what is it, Loser and they put Bebe? Loser and Bebe together. They could have separated Those are both good songs. Yeah, Bang 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 and Uh, uh, We Like to Party? We Like to Party, yeah. Yeah, and then it was Sober and... If You. If You. Yeah. And then these two, right? Yeah. Um, Like, I feel like they could have done... You know, I, I mean, I don't know. Bebe Be- and... Uh, I feel... So, so, uh, the, way, the, way, and the way I think they should have done it... One was, Fast, One Slow? Yeah, One Fast, One Slow. The first release, uh, they had Loser. I think they should have compared Loser with uh, Sober. I think okay. those would have matched really well. Okay. Um, maybe Bang, Bang, Bang. Well, the Loser and you. Sober are both kind of slow, though. But they're both kind of like mid-tempo songs, you yeah, know? Yeah, true. And then, I think maybe <laughs> Loser and We Like to Party might go well. But those are totally different. Yeah, you want totally different, or do you want similar? I don't know what your plan is. Uh, it it would I think it would have been nice if they had, um, the really high tempo songs compared or the, uh, really high energy songs. I really meant. Like you wanted them tempo. together, or you not wanted them tempo, but like you know, Bang Bang or Bebe, because Bebe isn't necessarily a really high tempo song. Right. I'm saying it's a very like high yeah, energy. Yeah, it's a hype song. song. Yeah, it's a it's hype, hype song. song. Yeah. And songs like. You know, so sober is kind of mid, loser's sure. kind of mid. Yeah. But like, if you, it was it's really, valid. yeah. If you and let's not fall in love, those are very kind of low yeah. songs. You know. What I'm saying? Okay. I I I would per, I thought we were going towards a uh, one high tempo, one hype song, one one ballad song. Yeah, that's kind of what I want to do. But 
I think Loser was so good, it has to be first. Sure. But what song would you really put with Loser, though? Okay. I mean, yeah. I don't know. We're, this is all Zutter. hypothetical. This is all, doesn't matter. I think, I think, I actually think Zutter. Zutter, maybe? maybe? Hmm. Actually, that might actually work, you're right. But anyways, this is what I'm talking about. Doesn't matter. Uh, all that matters is Bang Bang still kills it. Um, mm -hmm. This song, uh, Let's Not Fall In Love, it is definitely more popular than um, Zutter, I think, on the charts. Only just a little bit, um, though. Because I think Zutter is just mainly a GD top song. Right. But I'm just, I'm just thinking of the last time I checked the charts. I, actually, the, the Korean charts have been really fucking Funky weird. Orky. Because of the Infinite Infinity yeah, Challenge songs always, and the Show Me The Money songs. Yeah, those... Well... Infinity Challenge or in Muhan Dojon always fucks up the charts whenever they have mm -hmm. their shit. Um, and, and so I show me the money. Like any when the episode you know, airs, Rav, all of those stars, yeah. yeah, all of those songs shoot up to the top yeah. ten and push everything away. Yeah. So, um, but uh, yeah, I definitely. I mean, I think it's actually kind of cool that. Uh, well, it depends what's actually going to happen, but YG did delay the full album. Yeah. Um, and they said maybe, I think they said maybe it's because maybe new songs will be on there. Hmm. I think that would be kind of cool. We'll um, see. If they're just delaying it and it's just the same, it, just these eight songs, I guess I don't know why they would delay it. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of weird. If there are maybe two other songs, like they're trying to el even more elongate uh, the Big Bang takeover of 2015, you know? Yeah. Um, because uh, we didn't talk about it, but you did mention uh, uh, Taeyong and GD also have an. Infinity Challenge, Challenge song. song. And that song um, is good. And Taeyong is in uh, a Mino song yeah. on Show Me the Money. Like that song is good. They're spreading out the, uh, the you know, the, the, YG. the bangness. Yeah. Um, and, of, yeah. and then, of course, finally, Icon should come out. Psy should come out. Yeah. Um, uh, winner might come back, you know, like. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it for episode 75. Yeah. We really wanted to try and... Uh, 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 shorten, shorten our Smush rambling. Um, we hope you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, if you are normally listening to the audio version, maybe try giving the video version a, a shot just to see what's different. Yeah. Um, and uh, be sure to check out uh, next week, because it will be next week if you're listening to this, um, the After Show Show. The After Show Show, we're going to talk about probably Infinity Challenge song, yeah. probably going to talk about Show Me the Money, and we're going to probably talk a little bit about, I, I want to talk about some of the songs that I rediscovered or I fell in love with again in, in America. Okay. Um, because I they just showed up on the you know 14 hour plane ride yeah. and I was like, oh my God, what was yeah. this song? This is and amazing. I, and I also want to talk about some songs that I discovered of Korean artists, mm. but um, unfortunately slipped, slipped through the crack actually. Yeah. Um, if you, uh, the few that follow us on Instagram, which we're at This Week in K-Pop, uh, I showed everybody the list of songs that, mm. uh, was for this episode, and it was 81 songs. Yeah. So there are a lot of songs that we didn't get to talk about, yeah. and we will probably talk about them in the, in the after show show. Yeah. So. And also, sorry if we didn't really talk about a song that you wanted us to talk about, because obviously, I hope you understand, we have a lot of songs that we needed to talk about. Or wanted to talk about but if you want to get our personal thoughts on the matter you can reach us reach out to us on twitter mm -hmm. uh, steven's at twik steven i'm at twik josh we do check those periodically yep. and together we're just at this week in k-pop K yeah um and uh yeah we're gonna try and keep up on that um also also i didn't tell josh about this but also i'm pointing at the wrong thing um uh, I want <laughs> to ask the fans for some help with, because uh, remember I used to do uh -huh. the K-pop MV release uh, website? Kpoprelease.com. Uh, yeah, Kpop release. I didn't even remember it. But I stopped that because it was too much, it was just too much work for just me to yeah. do. Um, I have like a new version of that site that I was working on. Oh, hey. Um, it's effectively the same thing, but I want to ask for some help. I want to talk more about that in the after show. So uh, we'll stick see around for that shit. Um, bang up, bang up, bang up. So we'll see you guys uh, next uh, next week in the After Show Show, and of course in two weeks for the next episode of our podcast. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of our podcast. I know my picks were better, but if you liked what you saw, like and subscribe as always. Thanks for watching. If you did not remember, we do have an after show that will come out one week later. So there will be some link or something later on for us to link that. But do be sure to watch that too. If you like what you see, let us know. 
comments below or Twitter, Instagram, things like that. See you later, Chingus.